Scott Lewis is here. These guys are rock stars, right? I asked him to come on at 12.30 and he comes on early. Gene Frederick, he showed up early. That's what we do, right guys? If you book an appointment and you have a Zoom call, give the, give, give the thing meaning, give it courtesy, and show up on time, show up early. We've had about 34, 35 agents on the call. Uh, Gene spent about 50 minutes with us, uh, inspiring, giving us uh, you know, tips about how to build an organization to get to 500 as fast as possible. And he, he did some objection handling. Scott Lewis basically changed my life. It was his phone call and Tracy Lewis's phone call 36 months ago. They asked me the simple question you guys have heard me say over and over again. You know, if I can show you a business opportunity that's going to radically change the face of real estate, are you open-minded enough to take a look, to give me 30, 45 minutes to take a look? And I said no a couple of times. And then the, they said, Tom, before you say no again, do you know what you're saying no to? And that was the clincher for me to sit down and listen. He and Tracy showed the program, and of course, my life has changed thereafter. Paul Scott, a brother. I'm going to be in Puerto Rico one day with him, sitting right there by, by the palm trees as well. Thanks for having me, Tom. And uh, man, it's always great to see you and your team. And, you know, I, I, I just see how fast your team is exploding. You know, one of the fastest growing teams in the country. I see Lisa on here. I know Lisa's been crushing it lately, adding new people uh, on her team. You guys think we don't see what you're doing, but trust me, we see and know. Uh, we, we see what's happening out there. We know who's building and who's not. And, uh, you know, we, we get all kinds of alerts and information. So how do you get to 500 agents? That's the question, right? That, that's why, you know, uh, that was my goal. You know, when I saw this, just so you know, uh, Rob and I, I joined, I like to say I joined before Rob Blick, even though he's my sponsor. I think that's what keeps this thing going so well, is, is our leadership is all incredibly humble. And it's all about just inspiring others. I mean, how much money can you spend, right? I mean, at some point, it's about giving back, and it's about helping other agents. And uh, so, you know, who on here wants to, to have 500 agents on their team? Jack and Philip and Ledon and Michelle, everybody I can see, raise their hand. So when I sat down with Rob, when we first started this thing, we said, you know, we, we think we'll make about $1,000 per year per agent. It, ha it hasn't really proven that to be quite that much um, because, you know, we, we do get a lot of agents that are young and, and a lot of rookie agents, and so it takes a while. But in my organization, it's proven now to be about $850 per year per agent, which isn't bad. And um, so I, I figured to make a half a million dollars a year uh, in passive income, I needed 500 agents. It's probably more like 600. Yeah, you know, now looking back on it, we were guessing then because we didn't know yet, Tom, right? We didn't, we, didn't, we didn't have a clue what we were doing. We were just guessing. Hell, there wasn't a wealth chart. There wasn't a PowerPoint. I didn't even know what Zoom was. I mean, I, we didn't do any go-to meetings. Literally, it was just face-to-face. -face. I mean, just pick up the phone, call, meet me at the coffee shop, sit down. I mean, this is so much easier, and you can grow anywhere. I mean, you know, we did it the old-fashioned way in the beginning, and a lot harder, uh, but... Um, you know, I wanted to have 500 on my 500 agents on my seven levels, make a half a million dollars a year in passive income, and my goal was to do that in three years. And Rob and I built the wealth chart. He actually masterminded it. He and I drew out the first one together in San Antonio, Texas, the night before we did a training for about 15 agents. All 15 agents showed up. We gave them a poster board. They all drew their own circles and created their own wealth chart there. That was the very first wealth charts ever created. And one of those in the room was Pat Hayes. Uh, you know, another one in the room was Brent Walgren, who has over 500 on his team now. So, you know, it works, right? And uh, I, I, it was a three-year goal for me. I, who knew I was going to do it in 14 months? I had no idea it could be done that quickly. But Rob's a show-off. He did it in nine months. But I have to say it's because I was helping him, right? <laughs> That's right. And, uh, you know, because everybody on my team is on Rob's team. And so, but no, I mean, incredible what's happened. And, and here's what I want you to understand. Whether you believe it or not, and wh whether your drunk monkey is already making excuses or not, it is easier today than it's ever been. 
and you could have 500 agents on your team nine months from now. 100%. But you're going to have to work for it. I worked my freaking butt off. <laughs> All right. It, it was not easy. But I, I saw it. I wanted it. I wanted to make it happen. I said, you know what? It's a short term sprint for a long term goal. And I just said, you know what? I'm going to put everything on hold. I didn't water the grass. I didn't mow the yard. I didn't water the flowers. I didn't even clean the dishes. Healing, baby. All I was doing was showing this to people. That was it. And I was laying in bed at night texting, boom, 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 till I fell asleep. I fell asleep with the phone in my hand. I had a goal and I was going to get it done as fast as humanly possible. And guess what? Other people duplicated it. it. If you go slow, your team goes slow. If you go fast, your team goes fast. And it's easier to go fast. And here's the beautiful thing, Philip Greenberg. You can start over right now, today. You can start over this second and look in the mirror and go, enough is enough is enough. I'm tired of the status quo, and I'm going to go make this happen. And any one of you can do it. It's not hard. Matter of fact, it's easy. The problem is it requires continual, persistent effort, and it's delayed gratification so you don't see it for a long time, and many people give up and quit because it's not right in front of their face. They didn't go to the drive-up window and order the cheeseburger and start eating it before they left the parking lot, which is what we're used to, right? And so when you don't see the result, you know, in the next month or two months, you go, oh my God, it's not happening. I didn't make any money for five months, but I knew what was coming. I knew it would work. And so you have to have that belief and you just have to understand that if you go out and get 20 to 30 personals, I promise you, one or two of them are going to be Tom Trongs or Patton Gibsons. They won't all be. A lot of them are going to be lazy as hell. And, you know, I love Rob Flick's story. Rob's like, man, you know, so many of you have got five or six or eight on your team, and you're going, why is it not growing? Why is it not moving fast enough? And that's like the dairy farmer who just got another contract to get more milk and he's got to double his milk production and he runs out and it looks and screams at his cows and goes, please make me more milk. <laughs> it's the same thing. You, you own, the only way you get more agents is you just keep go getting personals and eventually the rock stars will show up. They may show up on your first level. They may show up on your second level. They may show up on your third level, but they will show up. I promise you. And it will come out of nowhere. And it'll be the place where you least expect it. That is God testing your faith. The work rarely comes where you're putting in the result, but it always comes to those who put in the effort. It's just the law of the land right? And so you have to have faith. You have to believe. And you just, in the beginning, I will tell you the first six months, the nine months, we were brand new. There were 600 agents in the country. We were a penny stock. Everybody thought we were stupid. No one, there was no proof, no one to point at and go, hey, this guy's making $750,000 a month in revenue share. Are you kidding me? I heard that maybe one guy was making 5000 a month, but I couldn't even get him on the phone to prove it. We had nothing, you understand, nothing to prove it, yet we believed in it so strongly that we were able to convince people to do it. They just weren't producing agents. They were a bunch of deadbeats and a bunch of rookies. None of them did squat. They didn't sell anything. I couldn't get a producer to even pick up the phone and talk about EXP. They'd Google it and it's like, no, 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 not interested. So I said, you know what? I've got to create some energy. I've got to create some excitement. How did I do that? I just recruited anybody that had a license. And then I was able to say, we got eight people. 
We got 12 people. We got 25 people. We got 50 people. Oh my God, we got a capper. Yeah, baby. Right? It's like a capper. Forget icon. There's no way we're getting an icon. We could have put all their production together and not got an icon. Are you kidding me? There was no way that was going to happen. We had a capper out of 60 agents. I didn't care. I was just getting numbers because I knew people would show up. Now, I did get Pat Hayes early, right? Pat was a producer. So, you know, and then I started getting a few more producers and, you know, and then producers started showing up. And then some of our people started producing and learning how to sell. And then we all of a sudden, we started getting some legs and getting some energy. But we, still, we had to go out of town. Nobody in our own town would listen to us, right? So we'd go out of town and say, oh, we got 60 agents in San Antonio. They didn't know none of them sold a house, right? But it didn't matter because we had 60 agents in San Antonio. You think I'm kidding. I'm not making this shit up. This is real, right? It's all about your belief. Do you believe you can do it? And if you believe you can do it, you will do it. And if you don't, it's not going to happen. I had a belief I was going to make this happen if it hair lipped the governor. I didn't care. I was going to get it done. And when I'm pouring into you in my heart and soul right now, I don't care if any of you do it. It isn't going to affect my income. You understand, I'm going to have 30,000 agents on my team if every single one of you quits tomorrow. I don't care because I'm going to get it done. But I want you to have it for you because I care about you. And I love Tom Trong and he's my brother and I'll go to my grave fighting for him and I'll go to my grave fighting for you and fighting for the agent that wants to have the God-given right to have financial freedom. And any single one of you can have it and your kids deserve it and your family deserves it. Go make it happen and stop making excuses. Forget about the scripts. Forget about all the this and the that and the do's and the don'ts and the how to and where to go get it. Forget about it. Just go do it. Pick up the phone and make the phone calls. If you make the phone calls and invite the people and you're excited, they'll go, oh my God, that lady's crazy. I want to know what she's smoking and they'll show up just to see. But you're all looking for the perfect scenario. I got to have this right. My wealth chart's got to be perfect. I got to have the perfect script. I got to have the perfect list. I guarantee you, every single one of you on this call, including you, Tom Trunk, have got people on your list that you haven't called yet because you're scared. And your drunk monkey sitting there going, oh my God, what are you scared of? I'm not going to give you the results you deserve because you're scared. Pick up the phone and call them before I do. It's not hard, guys. The only challenge is this. This is it. If you win this, you win. If you decide you're going to make it happen, it will happen for any one of you. You've got people that love you and care about you and support you and that will go to the end of the earth fighting for you if you just get out there and stop making excuses and do it. Some of you are pretending to be busy. Stop. The only person you're fooling is you because no one else cares. Honestly, you're the only one that matters. And if you don't put you first, you're never going to get it. Tom's not going to do it for you. He will do it with you. And if you run, he'll run beside you and he'll show you the way, but he's not going to do it for you. You've got to do it. And you just have to make it a decision. Now, are there some secrets I can share with you to make it easier and to make it grow faster? Yes. But at the end of the day, if you haven't decided to make it happen, none of that matters. When are you going to decide? Seriously. When are you going to decide? Because you haven't decided yet or you'd already have a lot more people on your team. Now, you've made a decision to be here today because obviously something's going on in your life and you think, man, I'm missing out or this is a big priority now. Maybe something happened. You know, there's a lot of, you know, I'm just talking to my assistant, John Rozak. He's been with me for years. 
and he's literally taking his mom to the hospital right now. And it doesn't look like she's going to make it. So your prayers would be really appreciated, right? A lot of people are hurting. You're not hurting right now because you're sitting on this call. So get something done and built before you are and before you really, really need it. How many of you have kids? How many of your kids are taken care of if you can't work? Okay. Some of you, yes. Some of you, no. And if that's not your hot button, what is your hot button? You know, it's going to take something to drive you. It's going to take something to get past the nose. It's going to take something to get past the delayed gratification, the delay from the time you do the effort to the time you do the, you get the result. Because what happens is you get off of this phone call, you get excited, you go out and you do this for a week and you go, oh man, no one's even joined yet. And then you half-ass it for week two and you go, still don't have anybody. And then you really slow down in week three. You go, oh my God, now I got, I've been doing this for three weeks and I don't have anything to show for it. And the drunk monkey just beat you. It takes time to get the momentum going. How many of you have ever built a snowman? Imagine the snowman that you're building right now and the snow is not very sticky. In the beginning, you're trying to press the snow together and it's just falling apart. It's like, oh my God, because it's got to get wet, right? If it's really dry, then it just crumbles. But eventually, you pound it and you pack it and you pack it and you go, oh my God, I got enough where I can, and you roll it over and you didn't see it, but there was a weed in the grass and the weed got in there and it got between your snow and it fell all apart again. You go, oh my God, I got to start over. <clears throat> and you got nothing to show for it, but still a bunch of snow. There's agents everywhere, but none of them on your team. And then you look in the neighbor's yard and they got a huge snowman. And Tom Trunk's snowman is 15 foot tall. And you go, oh my God, how did he do that? I got all this snow, but I got no snowballs. And so you start packing again. Don't quit. Don't look around. Don't try to be like someone else. Just be the best you, you can be and roll your snowman. Because eventually, you're going to get it to the top of the hill. And it's going to be so big that it's going to take Tom. And it's going to take me. And it's going to take Rob Flick. And it's going to take Gene Frederick. And we're going to push it over the top of the hill. And it's straight down the other side. And it's going to take out everything in its path. And two, three, four, five hundred agents are going to be joining your team every single month, whether you show it to a single soul or not. It's easy to look around and go, oh, my God, I'm not Brent Go, or I'm not Tom Trump, or I didn't have Tom's network, or I didn't have Gene Frederick's network, or I... You know, I don't have Rob's charisma, you know, or I'm not crazy like Scott, you know, whatever. It's easy to look around and, and, and beat yourself up and go, maybe I don't have what it takes. But the truth is you do. Every one of you do. And you say, well, you know, when are you going to talk about how to? I'm just telling you, I didn't know how to build this in the beginning. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know who to call. I didn't know what to say. I didn't have a PowerPoint. I didn't have any testimonials. We'd never done a lunch and learn. We, we, God forbid showing it to three people at once in a presentation. That would have scared the heck out of me, you know. But, you know, I was good at one-on-ones, and I was good at getting people on the phone, and I had a dream. And I just kept sharing it over and over and over again. And it didn't matter what they said. I didn't hear it unless it was a yes. So I may have got some no's. I just don't remember any of them. I don't. I don't remember any of them. I remember people telling me to call them back or to follow back up with me. And sometimes I did. Sometimes I didn't. A, a lot of times, you know, there are hundreds of people across the country that I showed this to that are on somebody else's team. And that's something else. That's going to happen to you. Stop whining. Get over it build a big enough team where you start getting some of those. You're going to lose some people. 
I've lost hundreds. In the meantime, I've got thousands. So why are you worried about one person? If that person decides to join under somebody else, they didn't deserve you. And they weren't part of, part of God's purpose for you in your life. So go get someone else. That doesn't mean you don't fight for everybody. You fight. You fight until you lose. And then you get up and you fight again. And you just keep going. But it, I won't, I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's easy. It's simple. It's really simple. It's just a matter of showing it to people. It's a numbers game. That's all this is. It is simply just numbers. Now, I don't know what your numbers are, but I can tell you they're not as good today as they will be two or three years from now. What do I mean by that? You may have to show it to 20 to get one now. I get, two, I get one out of two now. If I, if I really take the time, I don't have that much time to show it to one individuals that much anymore like I used to, but I get 50% of them immediately. In the beginning, are you kidding me? I probably got one out of 50. I was showing it to seven or eight people a day, six days a week for six months, every single day. I had a stack of, of, of um, what do you call them? Um, note paper. Notepad. This tall, this tall in the corner of my um, house, in the corner from front to back legal pad where I'd showed it to person after person after person. And I put their name and date on it. I still have them. I looked back the other day out of the probably three or 400 people in there, I think 10 of them joined under me. Wasn't very good numbers, but I found the people I needed to find to build and grow. It's a whole lot easier today. I just got off the phone with a team in Portugal. They've got 370 agents. Looks like they're gonna join. Are you kidding me? It took me a year and a half to get 300. Well, not really. It took me, it took me 11, 13 months to get 300 agents. It's crazy. But that comes by getting one and one getting two and two getting four. I would just tell you, the, the secret is exposures and follow up. Exposures and follow up. Exposures and follow up. And get good at both. Stop trying to sell it. Stop trying to talk people into it. Stop trying, you know, don't have commission breath. You know, when you go to your, you remember the first listing appointment you did? Remember what it felt like? Were you scared? Did you get it? Probably not maybe one out of 20 of you did, but you did it and you got better. I will tell you this. I, I was a real estate agent for one year. When I talk about a real estate, agent, I'm talking about selling houses. I cold called to prove a point. I owned an office and I proved the point and I cold called to get listings. And when I got an appointment, I carried the sign with me in the front door and I set it in their living room and I got every single listing I ever went on. No one ever told me no. Because I assumed if I was going to drive my ass across town, they were going to sign a listing agreement. Now, I didn't have that good a success signing up agents. It's a little more difficult. It takes a little more finesse. It takes a little more time. But you will get really good at it if you do it. If you take the time to learn it, to be a professional inviter. Get them on the webinars. Don't take no for an excuse. I always get three validations when I'm calling someone to get them on a phone or a webinar because I want them to understand my time is valuable. I've got so few time on this earth. I want to enjoy every second of it. And if I'm going to take my time to jump on a Zoom call, you can bet your sweet bottom dollar they're going to be there if they told me they're going to be there. And if they're not, I am burning up their cell phone. And if they don't pick up, they're like, the, you know, what's his name on the Shark Tank? They're dead to me. I'm never going to call them back because they lied to me. And I don't want to be in business with someone that lies to me. Take it serious. Get, you know, can I count on you to be there? Look, I've got Tom Trung, Mr. Wonderful. Thank you. I've got Tom Trung here. 
Tom Tron, you know who he is? Oh my God, can you edify this guy all day long? Absolutely. He's, he's taking his time to show this presentation to a couple of people. I need to know for sure because my credibility with Tom is critical. And I need to know for sure that if you tell me you're gonna be there, that I can let Tom know that you're gonna be there. Otherwise, let me know now, no offense taken. I just wanna make sure that I don't ruin my credibility with Tom Trong. Can, you, can I count on you to show up if I, can, if I get you on the phone or if I can get you on a webinar with the Tom Trong? Can I count on you to be there? I'll try to make it. If something doesn't come up, if something doesn't get in the way, well, you know, I got a couple things going on, but I'll do my best. I love that one. I'll do my best. Well, your best is not good enough for Tom Trump. You understand? Your best is not good enough. Can I count on you to be there? I know you're a man of your word. I know you're a woman of your word. We've worked together before. Listen, this is just real important to me. If you can't make it, that's okay. But if you, if you tell me you're going to be there, then I'm going to count on you to be there, and I'm going to line Tom up. We're going to get a few minutes of his time, and we're going to show you why this business is changing people's lives. Do yourself a favor. Don't take no for an answer. And if they tell you no three times, then go call somebody else. All right, I'm going to open up for a few questions. Tom, is there anything else you want me to talk about? No, that's, I got so much out of that. Thank you very much, Scott. That was awesome. Q&A, guys, and if you got to run, we're at the end of the hour. Scott, I really appreciate you, man. Love you, man. He's always here for me. Rob, Gene, every leader. It's Jason guessing. They're always here. You know why? It's exactly what Scott just said. I edify the living lights out of the people that I ask for their time because their time is worth so much. When you do that, you elevate the level of importance so that they, you make sure that they pay attention when they show up for the call. Questions? Go ahead. I have a question. Go ahead, uh, Dave. We've talked a lot about just calling agents and not talking about EXP, just uh, uh, you know, getting social, seeing how they're doing. Uh, and then we talk about doing one-on-ones. Tom, you, your preferred method is just one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, what's been the most uh, uh, common bridge lately, uh, especially in this environment, and everybody knows about EXP now? You're talking to them, you're social, and then you're getting to a one-on-one -on -one meeting. So how is that bridged? most commonly i can tell you i, I um, rob and i every thursday we do an exp explain it's open for anyone on the team um, by the way saturday morning i'm doing a revenue share training again i do it every other saturday or someone will be doing it i'm going to do it for the second time if you've got any new agents including yourself if you want to come uh, it's in the newsletter that we send out every saturday but that's that's coming up saturday morning um, i show them how to get leads I show them how to make phone calls uh, the Thursday open um, EXP, EXP Explain that Rob and I are doing this afternoon, coming up at the top of the hour in, in, in one hour from now. I have a personal that's going to be on there. Now, I, I have two full-time assistants. Now, I didn't have that in the beginning. So when I've got someone interested, I give them to my assistant. I have my assistant make sure that they get on the webinar. And then I schedule a one-on-one -on -one phone call with them right after the webinar. So as soon as that webinar is over, I pick up the phone. You know, I, I rarely, matter of fact, I probably haven't shown this individually to one person in, in two or three years. I mean, it just, it doesn't make sense. I would do it if, it, if they were a monster recruit. But, you know, most of them are willing to watch a video or they're willing to get on one of the public webinars. And, I, you know, I let that do the work for me. And then I just schedule a phone call right after but you could have 20 people on today's webinar, right? If you, if you made it a goal to get 10 to 20 people on a webinar every single week, and then you followed up with those people, my God, and you know, in, in, in a year, you'd have 300 people on your team, right? It's just a matter of numbers and, um, you know, picking up the phone and, and make, making a commitment. But uh, there, there's no special sauce for follow-up. I text follow-up, I don't call. Um, you know, if they respond to a text, then depending on what their response is, then I call them because I wait for the timing. I don't, I don't want to call and then they not answer. Then you call again and they don't pick up. And then the third time, 
it's like they're being chased, right? Even if they're busy, but a text, I can just say, Hey man, you seen the XP stock lady? We just lately, we just went over $50 and I was thinking about you, you know, how, how are your sales going? You know, it's been a while since we connected again. Last time we talked, you know, you said to follow up in a few months, just reaching back out. How are your sales done? You know, or did you hit that goal? You know, did you hit the 10 million you were looking for last year? How, you know, how's your business doing? Um, and they're just, and I do the same text. I've got a, I've got a reach app that I use it has probably 300 prospects in it now. And I send the same message to every single one of those prospects two or three times a month. So they're getting two or three texts from me a month. And I just keep adding people to it and I keep sending them text messages until they tell me, no, you'll be amazed. They, I've had people tell me, man, I got your text for two or three years before I ever, you know, was ready. But I appreciated getting those because it reminded me of my plan B. And I appreciated you keeping me in the loop. Even though I never responded, I was busy. I was getting them. I was watching you. And when the time was right, I moved. That's easy to do, but it's not easy, right? Because you've got to create a system and you've got to be committed to it. But once you get committed, it's not hard. It's just, you know, you, you just have to come up with a little thing to send them a couple of times a month. And uh, it's easy when, it, when a company's growing as fast as EXP's growing to always have great news, right? I mean, my God, we just opened up Portugal. Hey, man, I'm, you know, I, I know you're busy. You said you weren't quite ready yet. We just opened up Mexico and Portugal. You know any agents there by chance? Maybe they give you a referral. They may go, oh, my God, I, if I give you a referral, maybe I do want to join now. Maybe they give you a referral, you call them, they're ready to join, and then you call them back say, hey, I got Susie in Mexico City that's your me. She's about to join EXP. You want her to be on your team or mine because she's going to sign up tomorrow. I've done that so many times. I love it, too. They're like, but what, 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 they're joining? Because, see, most people don't think they can do it. That's the reason they don't join. You think it's you. It's not you. It's them. They don't believe they can do it. Or they don't, they don't believe that it's a good fit for them. Or they think it's going to be too cost prohibitive. You know, they're just, they're stuck. And so they, they need a reason. And you're, you're the reason. You're, you're their motivation. You're their inspiration. How important is it for everyone to plug into the system, Scott? That's, That's critical. It's your lifeblood. It's, it's critical. You won't make it without it. You won't make it without going to the events. You won't. You don't, you don't have enough stamina and willpower and drive to do it. I haven't seen anybody do it yet. You've got to be plugged in. You need that constant reinforcement, encouragement. And that's not just you that needs it. Your people need it, right? And your people do what you do. So if you're not, plug, if you're not plugged in, odds are most of your team is not plugged in. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. Thanks, have a great God. day. Well, that wraps it up.